Cat. It's Maximus here, this time with a little review of the Incra Protractor and 6-inch rule. Uh, what makes these uh, kind of interesting is that they have a pretty good reputation, although I've been reading online that some of the newer ones are not quite as nice as uh, these older used ones that I found. But these are stainless steel super precision rulers. As you can see, they have a huge number of slots. As a matter of fact, if anybody... Uh, <laughs> wants to count how many holes are in this. Actually, I don't even need to shine a light through it. It's just amazing. So they have all these holes at all these increments. And then at least on these older ones, they were all laser cut, laser etched, deep laser etching, all the letters and numbers. At least on these older units are uh, absolutely perfect. These are American made. And they're pretty proud of that because they put it on there twice. And so that's the whole purpose, is these are laser cut sheet metal rulers, although I was going to mention, at least on this one, maybe it's the other one actually, that there was just a little bit of a booger, yeah, right here, you can just see the reflection, the little tab on the sheet metal, it just wasn't quite ground perfectly, but it's still okay on the protractor. Anyway, the deal with these is that you put them, uh, you just use them as any kind of normal ruler. They have a 60 force here, they have 30 seconds, 16 somewhere on here. Down here is their 16 And what it does is it gives you a whole bunch of marking slots and holes at each one of those specific points. So you can do very accurate, whether it's artwork, drafting. I could certainly see these being used in a machine shop. And they have a kind of an interesting setup which is well thought out. So we have a 16th, or what we have is 30 seconds measurements, but there are only slots on 16th and spacings because there just isn't enough space to put the slots at every 32nd. And then down here we do have just normal 16th measurements and the slots are at 16th. But what's interesting is they've offset both these scales and uh, intelligently. So uh, if you wanted two 32nds, you would actually mark in the slot of 1 16th because it's right in the middle between 1 and 3 30 seconds. So I thought that was intelligent because the combination of both these scales actually will allow you to make markings at 30 seconds of an inch. Up here you can see they've done the same thing but with just tiny, uh, dr not drilled holes, but just round holes where they just offset them so you can do a mark at uh, every 30 second of an inch. And then down here in 64 it's actually uh, pretty intelligent because you have zero and then what they do is they have these offset holes and they mark them plus one plus two plus three sixty fourths so if you're right here at say four sixty fourths and you want uh, six sixty fourths you just go down and mark uh, that lower hole which may be easier than counting over a couple so other than that that's kind of the deal with these um, I should mention that they do come with a t-bar and there's been some criticism about this t-bar not being super accurate on all of them but this T-bar is just to keep it uh, perpendicular to the edge of a surface. So they have a pretty nicely sized nuts just fit into this slot. And so you take them out and put them through both of these holes here. They have a little nylock in them, like so. Or a little nylon washer, I should say. Let me get this oriented. And all I'll do, although I do like this setup, they should have made shoulder bolts, which would have been bolts that were smooth and then just had a little bit of thread at the end because when you put them in these holes they can shift around some and since this is laser cut that really can introduce a significant inaccuracy and what I mean is it you know when it's loose it can it's actually not too bad one of the reasons is because and I didn't realize that till just now there's actually a little lip on the back of this so this is supposed to sit against that lip that's what's providing the, the alignment then you just tighten both of these down like so and now you have a T-bar. Obviously, this is kind of cumbersome because this is, all, is amazingly thick. You wouldn't be able to just lay it down on a piece of paper. And, of course, it promotes these rulers getting bent. So you need something. I have a cutting board here that you can put along the edge in order to ensure that it's uh, perpendicular. And so these little holes, they're really not compatible with drafting pencils or pretty much anything. Uh, you're not going to be able to use pencils, uh, giant pencils like this, obviously, in those little holes. A little side note on these giant pencils, almost all of, them, all of them are fake. Almost every one I've ever seen has been fake. Just a little piece of lead in the, just the, the front part. The reason I've kept this uh, pinkish one is because it's the only one I've found that actually had the piece of lead all the way through. A true, giant, normal pencil that you could sharpen down to nothing. Anyway, 
these won't work with that. Really, they're for the half millimeter uh, mechanical pencils, things like this. So in this type of situation, I just get my piece of paper and everything uh, aligned the best that I can here. And if I wanted to have a little line, say at exactly one inch, I would just do this. And you would just take and just do a little bit of, uh, you would want to hold the pencil absolutely up and down. We'll have a little mark at one inch. Say I wanted to have another mark at one inch and literally one sixty. 64th I just put the piece of uh, pencil in there and you'd either twist it to make a dot or you would actually have to figure out how to slide this whole thing like so I just broke the lead these things can be a bit troublesome to use just because of the nature of it how thin the slots are and how thin of the lead that you use but this is essentially how it works and, and a lot of practice keeping it straight against the paper's edge so there's definitely some uh, practice involved but that's the whole point of this thing is when somebody wants a ruler that is just absolutely super precision and then has little holes so you can mark stuff um, just with, you know, pretty much the best precision that you can get out of a ruler. Anyway, the same thing goes for the uh, protractor. Let me get it mounted up to this. I'll talk about it for a second. Oh, I should comment that as nice as these are, I think... What I've been reading about about any kind of water jet cutting plasma laser is that when you're trying to cut through thick material, there's always going to be imperfections out the back side, especially the thicker the material gets, the more inaccurate the back side of the cutting gets. So these are pretty thin, so they can be super accurate. But unfortunately, they're not super rigid, especially with all the cutouts that are in them, and they are magnificently thin. Um, I believe they are indeed ten thousandths of an inch thick. That would be a quarter millimeter thick so they're pretty flimsy pretty easy to bend you generally wouldn't want to leave them inside their little holder uh, just for the risk of just once again bending them so anyway we have a protractor here and i thought this was also interesting because you do have much longer lines at common five degree increments down here i'm not quite sure what this section in the middle is for we do also have a ruler down at the bottom 30 seconds with holes so I think this may have more holes than that. And then what we have up here is more radial lines. And they do the same type of offsetting. These radial lines and their corresponding holes are at every single degree. But these little holes on the outside edge are actually in between. And they kind of exemplify that. They say half a degree. And you can see it's just offset on each side of the degree. So what the deal here is, is this would be zero degrees. The hole just above it would be uh, 0.5 degrees and then 1 degree, 1.5. So you can get half degree increments, which is pretty amazing. This isn't, you know, uh, your high school plastic protractor. I could certainly see a lot of mathematicians or people who do math uh, using one of these. And so it's just basically the same deal, just in a protractor fashion. And uh, let me get that mounted up. Of course, there's another issue is if you're not careful, if you mount it the wrong way with this sitting over this lip and then tighten down on the screws you'll end up crimping uh, so these things are a lot more delicate I read a lot of you know complaints about that and I think people just have to kind of uh, you know a little bit it's the nature of the product it's just difficult to make something this precise and have it also be just you know just shop duty heavy duty type of situation and so here we are with this and it's real simple they do have a little dot uh, where you can mark the absolute center but you know you just want to mark a 90 degree you I do like that they have a longer slot here and you just mark the 90 90 degree if I wanted something like 92 degrees then I know these slots are actually at 90 that would be 92 degrees and let's say I wanted 95.5 then I would actually use this little hole I just bumped this piece of paper the little holes are difficult because you just got to take the pencil and kind of twist it around to actually get it to make a point and it certainly doesn't look like much there but that is a 90 degree line this little line is literally tilted ju uh, literally just two degrees off I mean it's up higher because I use a different slot but the tilt of this line is only two degrees away from this line and then this one's this dot is actually if we were to draw a line straight through there would be a five and a half degree line so that's kind of the deal with these things and uh, actually just ran into these kind of randomly had never really known about uh, 
I've known about you know sheet metal steel rulers and that type of stuff, but not quite something like this, which we, which were slotted, super precision rulers. And uh, you know I did find these at a garage sale, surprisingly enough, and I'm act they are reasonably priced online. Um, and so I can only comment about these older ones. I certainly hope that it may have just been some quality control issues on the complaints about the newer ones, the etching not being quite as sharp. But these things, well, as far as I can tell, are just absolutely perfect. And I uh, was lucky not to find ones that were already messed up and had their uh, <laughs> accompanying accessories with them. And for those of you who are curious, there's absolutely no markings whatsoever on the backside, just nothing. Another thing is these are just sold as the Inca Rule Protractor, the Inca Rule uh, 6 inch rule, because these have no model or part numbers on them, which is kind of surprising for something like this. You'd think they at least have some kind of part number, so it'd be a little bit easier to search for than Inca Rule Protractor, because when you just type in something like that, it's kind of generalized, and a lot of searches will just come up with, you know, all sorts of random stuff. But as far as these are concerned, uh, from what I understand, they actually have quite a reputation for these specific products, and it is indeed uh, kind of hard to find something that's quite like this. Interestingly enough, they do have a few extras. I guess these would be common angles here, and that's why they have some extra slots. But I thought these things, and I won't use them a ton, but there'll be certain situations where I may want to mark something. Uh, with an ext like not just looking at the line and hoping I have the pencil right on the line, but where I have a a hole that uh, or a slot that definitively makes sure that I'm only marking at that point, ensuring accuracy. Uh, I thought in those situations these things would be invaluable because quite because the simply the slots remove guesswork. It physically holds the end of the pencil or a really fine felt tip pen. And, uh, and so it just removes that guesswork. You know you're marking a specific angle. You know you're marking an exact distance. And so uh, then you don't have to worry about, did I really uh, get it right? Or did I have the pencil just right in the middle of the line or something like that? Or did it shift? This removes that guesswork. And just I can see them being an absolute lifesaver. So anyway, sorry for the long review. But I thought these things were pretty, <laughs> pretty amazing for pieces of sheet metal. And just wanted to talk about them. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.